here are Workers Developer Relations at NIM. Welcome to NIM 101 where we talk about all things important in NIM. Today we're going to talk about a few different types of nodes that operate within NIM's privacy infrastructure. So yes, we're going to give you a general overview of those network actors and how they work together to give you the privacy you deserve. Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel, we really appreciate hearing from our community so leave us a comment too. With that being said, let's jump straight into it. Starting with gateways, the gateways are the entrance to the mixnet that encrypted packets must pass through before being forwarded to the mix nodes. Their primary purpose is to verify that the users have the necessary credentials to send their communication through the network produced by the validators. We'll talk about validators later on. The gateways also catch messages like a mailbox just in case users are offline. The users are free to select a single gateway to always use, decide to split traffic across several gateways or run their own gateways. It's also worth mentioning gateways are one of the examples of nodes that are rewarded according to their quality of service. From previously mentioning about the MixNet, Mix nodes are the backbone of our privacy infrastructure that are organized in a three layer network called the MixNet. Mix nodes take your encrypted communications and mix it up with lots of other messages, making it impossible to trace who is talking to who before forwarding these packets to the final recipient of the original message. Mix nodes reorder these packets, adding a variable time delay before sending them to the next layer. This makes it harder to perform time-based correlation attacks and de-anonymize any network users through network traffic analysis. Mix nodes are also being rewarded for doing all this. They receive rewards on the basis of their reputation. A node's reputation directly affects its rewards, so they have to maintain a good reputation by making sure they perform well. Their reputation is measured in NIM tokens that are staked to a particular mix node. Anyone with NIM tokens can stake on a mix node and earn a share of their rewards, so they're likely stake on a well-performing node with a good routing score, because that node will then have better rewards. This ensures that the quality of service of the overall mix net while maintaining decentralization. The last node we'll talk about in this video are validators. Validators maintain the Nix Cosmos blockchain, which functions as a secure, public channel of broadcasting and recording network-wide information, and holds the MixNet smart contracts. This network-wide information includes MixNode's reputation and rewards, as well as the topology of the network. The Nix blockchain is a general purpose, fast finality, smart contract blockchain. With privacy features, we invite everyone in and around the Cosmos ecosystem to start exploring. Now that we discussed the different function nodes in NIM, it's also worth mentioning that our network explorer is dedicated to visually representing the distribution of nodes around the world. It states the number of created mix nodes consisting of active and inactive nodes, the number of standby nodes that are ready to deploy just in case our traffic gets a little heavier than usual, but also the number of gateways and validators too. By either clicking on the specific network node or going to the drop down on the left hand side of the page, you can specify what information you would like to see about either of the three. For example, looking at mixed nodes, it displays a list of all the nodes that are presented in values such as the identity key, the stake, profit margin, routing score, and even the location and IP address they're hosted at. Similar to nodes, the gateways page specifies each gateway's identity key, their bond, IP and location. Lastly, looking at the validators section, this redirects you to a new window that monitors the active and inactive validators, tracking their statistical data such as ranking, voting power, shares, commissions and uptime. This dashboard is an excellent way to visualise a source of truth for the network. Showing you this last part and going back to the network explorer, if we look down to the node map section, it enables you to track and filter activities of these working nodes by region and breaks down the percentage of mixed nodes around the globe, giving you a quick insight of what countries are more engaged with our privacy infrastructure than others. There are other acting nodes within our privacy infrastructure, but by giving you an overview of the ones mentioned in this video, will allow you to understand how our global decentralized privacy system works. 
And that's the end of our video on the different types of nodes in NIM. Make sure to stay tuned for our upcoming videos. There'll be more educational content, deep dives, guides, and talks about privacy. If you have any questions or just want to drop us a hello in our community, check out our socials in the description for constant updates on NIM with our hashtag privacy loves company. Also, if you want to read up more on the topic in today's video, check out our blog posts or documentation. I'll leave a link for those too. And that's a wrap. Take care, everyone. I'll catch you next time.